Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to my intuitive energy reading um, uh, channel. So this is whoever I'm reaching out to here. I'm desperately reaching out to you, okay. Why? Why does this person feel that you are so easily, easily manipulated? You know this. You know this person is trying to manipulate you, trying to put a shadow over you, trying to make you look stupid, like you don't know what you're doing, whether that's in the work situation or whether that's bringing up your children or whether that they're standing there. They're standing there like they they know it all. They're standing there like they know it all you know and you're taking the thing is i have to say that you are taking the bait of this person instead of standing back and saying how do you think you know it all how do you think you know how to bring up my children how do you think you know how to have my relationship how do you think you know? Who the hell are you? That's what I'm going to look into right now. Okay, so let's have a look. Why are you, and, and this is a big wake-up call, actually. Why are you allowing this? You are enabling this. This person is standing there. Hmm. Look at me, I can do all of this, and you are just enabling this. This person is poisonous. I think it's time you woke up to this, okay? It's time that you woke up to this, whoever this is. Whether this is your uh, parent, whether this is your, um, you know, your stepmother, whether this is your uh, somebody around you, why have you not woken up to this? Why have you not stood back and said, why have you not stood back and said, why do you think you know it all? Why? And why don't you stand up to this person who is wrecking your life? Why do you allow this? Why do you enable this? Why do you allow this person to trample all over you? Now, this is what I'm going to look into because I feel I am reaching out to someone here and I am trying to heal you, heal you. Okay, I feel that you tend to blame everything around you. Oh, well, it's because of this. Oh, it's because of this. Instead of looking at the true reason of what's going on here. So let's have a look at this reading here. Let's pull out some cards. Why are you enabling this person to wreck your life? Wreck your life, whoever I'm reaching out to. They've got you trapped here. They know it. They know that they're so how powerful. I've got you trapped. I know everyone around you. I know all of your friends, I know your colleagues, and I've got you hemmed into a corner here. You cannot move. This person has got issues. This person has got huge issues of why they have to do this in the first place. Why do they have to do this? Why do they have to turn everything around you against you to see you to see you crumble to see you fail it's because you've not woken up to this you're still kind of believing this person cares about you you're still believing that this person cares about you wake up wake up because this person does not and, and the history is there the history is there of what Trouble they cause, it always goes back to them. Wake up. Wake up. This person does not care about you. 
um, they pretend to care about you by sharing, um, sharing and caring, and they would be horrified if you actually point out to them, you know, what's this got to do with you? Why do you feel that you are so much better than me? You know, if you woke up and you struck yourself bare and said, the hell do you think you are? Who do you think you are to do this? But they can because you enable it. You enable it. Well, you know, I, you know, this person, but they reckon you're like, they're ruining your life. They're ruining your life. They're, they're having influence over your children. They're having influence over the, your colleagues. They're having influence of everyone around you. And you, you're still saying, mm, yeah, but, yeah, but. I get the magician part here. They have played trickery on you since you were a wee child. They have played trickery on you since you were a wee child. And it's called abuse. It's called abuse. It's called abuse. But you did not want to see this. You wanted to be accepted. You wanted to be part of this. You wanted to be, uh, this could be a parent or a parent figure. You wanted to be part of this. You wanted to be accepted. But they were totally dishonest and deceptive with you going into the past. I hope, I hope you're starting to wake up to this. I hope you are starting, they are trying to stop your flow. They're stop, starting, they are trying to stop your growth here. Um, and people around them see what a fool you are. People around them are saying, oh my God, she's a it. She's, a, she's letting this person walk all over her. And she's not doing anything here. She's not showing her power. She She's not actually putting her reputation on the line to try to stop this. Instead, she is going along with this manipulation. I see you working very hard. You're working hard to build up your coins. People are watching you because they see this, you know, they see this, uh, they see this player, they see this um, person, this um, person here, they see you as weak. They see you as easily manipulated. You allow this, you are allowing this. You are allowing this. When are you going to start to wake up to this? Because this deception, again, this deception, this dishonesty, there is a fear of being caught. This person is fearing being caught, you know, because they're, they're taking it a little bit further. You know, I, I've got away with this for so many years. I'm going to take it a little bit further. I'm going to take it a little bit further and see how far that I can humiliate this person and make them look so foolish. This person who's doing this to you needs help. They need help. They, they know what they're doing. They know they are playing some kind of puppet master game here. Oh, I'm about... And and they they would say, look, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I am playing this puppet master game, and I am controlling you. And I'm doing this because this stems right back to my childhood, how you came into my life and made me feel like, you know, you were absolutely adored, adored by your father by your parents, by you were absolutely adored. And this triggered something in me. 
that wanted to destroy you. And I think this is what this is. Are you going to wake up to this? Are you going to wake up to you triggered something in this person that made them feel like they were worthless, that they had to destroy you? And they, yeah, I'm getting away with this, you know, so many years have gone by and I am getting away with destroying you. I am getting away with chipping away at you and people are observing this but you know i'm getting away with this yeah i'm getting away with this this person needs deep therapy um they they hate hate you deep down they hate you they hate you they don't want to see you succeed they don't want your children to succeed they want to destroy everything about you because you triggered something in them many many years ago and they want to make sure that you will never succeed because you have triggered something very very deep in them that makes them feel unloved unappreciated and feels like they will never succeed so they are transferring that onto you this is this is the strength card and the universe is wanting you to wake up to this. The universe is wanting you to wake up and to actually see this, for what this is. Yeah, I kind of see the people that really do care for me, people that really do um, care about my future, my children. All you've done is play this game and your sour face you know, your sour face, right? You know, it's written all over your face how sour you are. How sour, but you put on this sweet voice. Oh, yeah, it's so lovely, isn't it? It's so lovely, but you're sour. You're sour, okay. Isn't it awful when somebody wakens up to somebody like this? Isn't it absolutely horrific? Clinging on to the memories of this person's soft voice, how much they cared for you. And clinging on to, I can't let go that this person did not care about me when this is going to just destroy me if I have to fa face this. But you are facing this. You can see this in all the photographs that you take the videos that you take, um, how they see you, how they value you, how they want you to be seen. It's all there. It's all there. This person is the queen of swords. It's all there in front of you. You can see it. It's like you see it, but you don't want to see it. You see it, but you kind of, okay, this person is trying to destroy me from something that stems from their childhood. And why have I allowed this person to have, have access to me and my children? You have. You've allowed this person to have access to you and your children and your family knowing that this person just wants to destroy you. You know that. You've not protected yourself and you've not protected your children. The reason why you've not done this is because you are protecting, trying to make your, you know, make your money, trying to, this person's tried to put a block on that. They, they feel they've got so much power that they can put a block on that. I, well, you know, you make that move, you turn a right and I will block that too. You take a left and I'm going to block that too. This person, because you've allowed it. If I was you, I would move 100, 200 miles away, 300, 400 miles away from this person. 
and live the person you were meant to be, which is this go-getter, very intelligent person. You've always known that you're beyond these people around you. And justice will be done. Justice will be done. I feel there will be an awakening to this. How long are you going to allow this to go on? The world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. I think you may be secretly, if I was you, I'd secretly look at a transfer. I'd secretly look at relocating. I'd secretly look at getting away from that person, whoever that is, and, and move a million miles away from that person. I think you know what I mean. And I think you know what this is. Nobody is going to help you with this because you have enabled this for so long that people are beginning to think, well, maybe you like it. Maybe you like to be a failure. Maybe you like people talking about you, saying how dreadful you are and how dreadful of a mother you are and how, you know, how disgusting you are, how far you would go to get what you want. You know, all this, all this horribleness here coming from this poisonous person who should have got therapy many, many years ago. This person who you are with has not got your back. They have not got your back. The king of wands, this person has not got your back. They don't care. They, it's like, okay, I'll let this go on. This person can destroy you for all I care. I'm not really caring. I don't care. And I get, I get this card here is the tower. The only person that can stop this is you. And I get the tower. This person you're with is hopeless. They're useless. They are so weak and you are starting to argue with them. They're saying, oh my God, you're so crazy. You're as crazy as that person has said about you. You are putting the icing on the cake here. And you, you're saying, all you want to do is destroy me. You want to destroy me because I am not your blood. I am not your blood and you want to just destroy me. I can see that now. I see the sun shining for you. But while the sun is shining for you, I have this uh, awakening which is very painful. Very painful. You want to, to be part of this person's uh this this life. You wanted to, to be accepted. You wanted to be accepted. You wanted to be part of this person's life. You wanted this person to desperately love you. But why should they love you? You're not you're not their blood. You're not you don't belong to them. They've always thought that about you. Why should I, you know, so it's like this awakening here is, but we've all got awakenings like this where people we thought that cared for us, whether it's our blood relatives or whether it's not our blood relatives, we wake up to the fact that they didn't really care about us because it's looking back at the history of of your, yeah, they pretended to, to make their reputation look good, to make it look like they are the martyr. And I don't, it's like you're saying to yourself, I don't want to expose that because this person will say what I did for you. What I did for you. I gave everything up for you, my freedom. Um, but then again, if you face the reality, this is what you're going to come up against is this. If you, um, if you actually um, face your abuser or face the person that's, that's tried to destroy you, of course they're going to say that. Of course they are going to say, what did you want me to do? You, you were not mine. 
you you know you were not my blood i did not give birth to you what what do you want me to think here you know all i was reminded of how rubbish i was and that's all you reminded me of is how rubbish i was I get a new beginning for you, waking up to this, awakening to this. It, it takes a very strong person to actually wake up to this. Um, there is somebody here who's going to wake you up to this. Um, I think you may actually join a group of some sort and... A heartless use of power. This person did this because it made them feel very powerful. Um, they withheld from you. They withheld from you love, affection, and they withheld from you. Um, and they slandered you behind your back. And they gave you, at the same time, negative advice. And thinking that you would never, ever, in a million years, wake up to that. But you have. You have, and they have got their date of reckoning, and they know that. They know what they've done. They know that they've got their date of reckoning. They've lied to you. They don't love you. Um, they will say, they will retract from this and say, I do love you. I do care for you. I, I always care for you. So if that's the case, why did you do that? And why did you do this? A turning point. Should you reconcile with this person? Or should you stand your ground? You have been exploited because of your naivety. And you're realising this now. You're realising I have been exploited because of my naivety. You did this because I was naive and I was young not to understand. But now I do. Now I do understand you. I understand every game that you played and I understand you perfectly. With the full card. This person... There's a man around you who is not protecting you from this. They are not protecting you. They're not protecting you or your children from this. They're just allowing it to happen. And you're so damn fed up with this. You know this. You know this now. You are you know that everyone around you is making you look like an absolute damn fool. And it stems from this person They will deny this. They have never wanted to commit to you or validate you. They know that you have been wanting to be validated. But they have, they, they have, they know that you have always wanted to be accepted by them and validated by them but they withheld that from you deliberately to make you feel, I, I'm not going to, it's like, I'm not going to validate you. I am not going to make you feel like I'm going to accept you. And because of this, you have ch chased this and, yeah, but, you know, I just want you to love me and I just want you to accept me for who I am and I just want you to uh, love me and that's all I want you to do. And they know it. They know it. And this is where they control you. This is where they control you, you and your children and your family because they know that you are desperate to be accepted by that person. They played that game with you right from the get-go. And they've continued with that game. I'm going to leave it there. 
I hope this uh, this was a message from the universe, from the divine, to help you to understand who does really care for you, who does really spiritually care for you authentically, and for the people that are just don't care about you, that have played a very sinister game with you for many, many years. And this is to, whoever I'm reaching out to, is to wake you up to this. Is to wake you up to this and run. Run a mile, 100, 200 miles away from this person. From this person who has influence over your life. And they just want to ruin your life. Sending you lots of love, lots of blessings. Please put your thumbs up and share. I hope I'm reaching out to someone here. Pack your bags. Apply for a job. Miles away. And get out of that place. Get away from that person. Get away from those energies. I don't feel this was ever your fault. I feel that you were put into this situation as a child. which is very sad uh people there are people out there that love you that care for you genuinely care for you but for this time space here um you are enabling this you are enabling this person to continue with this control and you have to stop this you have to detach and you have to get a long long way from this person and I'm really sorry that that's happened to you but it has sending you lots of love lots of blessings and bye for now bye bye